So I've decided to get me from uh, 50 to 55 crafting so I can make the Slay Helmet. I'm going to do Ruby Bracelets. Now the GP Per XP really isn't too much with Ruby Bracelets. Um, I am going to be alking these once I finish making them all because the Alk price is a lot better than the Sell price. So I'm just going to do that. And I also need to get 66 Mage for the, um, the Swan Song Quest so I can get the Monkfish. Um, that's a very... I'm looking forward to getting the Monkfish because I can just AFK there and get me some free food, I guess you can say, because I've been using lobsters um, pretty much, you know, as my, uh, my staple food food since I guess I started playing or I guess I since I started catching them but yeah lobsters have been my staple sort of um, feeding and health regeneration sort of food um, but hopefully I'll be able to upgrade that to uh, I guess monkfish very very shortly but yeah just making these ruby um, I guess rubies and gold bars into these bracelets getting 80 experience every single one which is always good and then I'm just going to alk them for about 1.4k a piece which is going to be quite nice I managed to spend I believe it was so it's 1,130 GP I spent on, um, I guess, a gold bar and a ruby bracelet combined. is 1,000 GP for a ruby and 130 GP for a gold bar. Um, and then I'm not sure how much I spent with the nature runes as well. But I'm pretty sure I'm breaking even, if not making or losing a little bit of money. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but I am getting crafting XP as well as magic XP. So it's definitely worth it if you're looking into... Um, crafting and magic, I do recommend doing some bracelets for you because they are very, very good. Um, especially with the alking side of things because there are only a couple things you can really alk in this game um, that you don't lose too much money or, you, or, you, or I guess you even make some money, but there's 51 crafting... Snake skin chaps. All right, there we go. But yeah, like I was saying, there's only a couple of things in this game you can actually alk um, where you don't actually lose too much money. Um, but, you know, doing these ruby bracelets is probably the best bet if you're going to be getting crafting and um, magic XP as well. So, you know, these are very, very good things to do. And, you know, if you're looking to get some, I guess, some lower crafting levels up as well as some lower magic levels up, these are, the, I guess, the best thing for you guys to do. And there we go. There's 55. I can now make my own slay helmet. Mm. Hey, there we go. Look at it. Look at it. Just looks so nice. <laughs> And there was 56 agility. There's the requirement for... I um, can't remember the name of the quest, but... Roving Elves, is it? I'm not quite sure, but one of the elf quests, there's 56 agility. Mm -mm. Alrighty, so here we go. Here is 60 crafting. And now, I kind of got addicted to doing ruby bracelets. I uh, The main, I guess, the initial goal was to get from 50 to 55 so I can make the sleigh helmet. Uh, but then I figured out the ruby bracelets are one of the best things you can actually do to alk. Because uh, you don't really lose that much money. And not only do you get crafting XP, but you also get magic XP from alking. So I kind of got addicted to this. Bought, I've probably alked about uh, one thousand, just over a thousand. I'm just giving you some um, some rough figures here. But I've alked about over a thousand and I've just crafted um, about another 500 with another 500 to go. Uh, so I'm going to be alking another thousand of these just because it is something for me to do. And not only am I getting crafting XP, I'm pretty sure I need 60 for Lunar Diplomacy. I'm going to have a little look now. Lunar Diplomacy. So I do need 61 crafting for Lunar Diplomacy. So this is kind of knocking off one of the uh, uh, one of the requirements for some quests I need to do as well. And also getting me some um, magic XP. Almost free magic XP, which is, which is what I needed. I was trying to figure out a way to get from 62 to uh, 66 magic. And now obviously the given would have been to just alk anything um, but then this sort of decision arose and you know it's a, it's a decision I made and I'm very very happy with it because I'm getting a lot of crafting XP and you know almost free magic XP so it just worked out and I guess one of the best win-wins I've had on this game 66 mage um, that's the rec the prerequisite for it is what is it again for swan song so I can now fish some monkfish uh, once I complete the quest so all we're gonna do is speak to Yanni Salika, and that should be the um, that should be the uh, the one small favor quest complete, if I'm not mistaken. And living in Australia, I do have a lot of pet um, animals and insects that all live outside my window. So if you can hear that, that's what that is. Um, so hopefully, gonna complete this quest right now. And after speaking to just a couple of people, um, you know, just one or two people doing this quest. 
This is going to be the last stage. Hopefully, come on, Yanni, old mate. I he keeps speaking to me, but I kind of just want. Okay, there we go. We won. Twenty-five k prayer, magic. Now that boss fight was a lot easier than I thought it was. The first time I did it on um, probably back in like two thousand nine, I'd say I probably died twice trying to do that bit um, but I guess the secret was um, first of all to get really really close to it and protect from mage because it's melee hits um, do not hit that strong and if you're actually far away from it it drains your prayer pretty much like you, you won't be able to use prayer if you're far away from it so um, stand near it and I don't know, kill it as quick as you can but that's swan song complete I'm going to AFK some monkfish now and um, get myself some better food than lobsters. And I just these sharks were left over from um, from Desert Treasure, so I thought I'd just use those. But now I'm going to fish myself some monkfish, and so I've got some, I guess, staple food that I can use rather than just lobsters all the time. And here is the Watchtower quest uh, complete. I believe this is the very, very last step of the quest. And I think I've got to put these crystals away, so I'm going to chuck these on. Hopefully, though, I've got to put them on, on the pillars. Um, so this is going to require a little bit of trial and error. The spell scroll. Ba -ba 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 there we go. There's four quest points. I did that mainly for the quest points on the Watchtower Teleport. Um, I also get 15k magic XP, which leaves me with 5k till 67. And of, of course, the uh, the 5,000 coins, which is the probably the best reward out of all of these as well. So now I'm on 163 quest points, leave me with 12 more to go until I can do the... Um, Finish recipe for disaster, which is very good. Um, right now, I'm going to take a little break. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to take I'm not going to take a break from questing because I have been taking well, I have taken a massive break from questing over the past couple of days and couple of weeks, I guess you can say. So I'm going to get stuck into some more quests. Um, the next couple quests I want to do uh, is like the King's Ransom storyline. So that's going to inquire. Um, that's going to include, I guess. Um, is the King's Ransom? I'm not quite sure what I'm speaking about right now, but it's gonna. I'm gonna be doing the Throne of Miscellania. Um, I think that's the name of the quest, as well as like King's Ransom and just quest so I can get like piety, chivalry, and also unlock the ability to use my kingdom because kingdom is a half decent way to get money from what I remember. Um, so that's you know I guess free money there and doesn't require much effort. So I've also got 290 monkfish. I need to cook those up. Um, instead of using my lobsters, now I basically had the, I guess, the exact amount of lobsters, because I only have 20 left, but now I've got the monkfish unlocked, um, that's a, uh, that's a massive, massive help. And when I get up for this task, I also realise that the gear that I have now is getting to a stage where it's kind of getting impressive, um, you know, I am very, I'm getting very happy with my account right now, um, mainly just with the Slayer Helmet, like the Legends Cape took a fair bit of time to get, and also my, like, my... My my dragon gloves. I was gonna say Barrow's gloves, but I haven't quite got there yet. Um, and just stuff like that, like my Rune Defender, my Proselyte. You know, it's it's a pretty decent account for being on the level 86. But yeah, like I I took a moment to sort of have a little look at my stats, and you know, come to think of it, I thought this account was like a like really really newbie. Um, but you know, in I guess looking at it again, you know, 70 stats, 70 attack strength, and 67 defense. Obviously, not the best. Um, but you know, it's not it's they're not bad stats as well as 66 magic. Um, which I got myself uh, with crafting. Also, 70 range is also a big one, so I can use black dehyde as well as like carols and stuff when I get 70 defense. Um, I think I said range, not defense. Anyway, uh, 60 slayer is also getting up there. 72 would be nice with the skeletal wyverns. I'm not sure if I'm going to train it past 72 just yet, but uh, I guess we'll see when we get there. And 48 farming is also very nice. I did use my XP lamps off of, I think it was the Watchtower quest, or one of the recent quests that I've just done, um, I used them on farming, and that got me from 44 to like 48 farming, which is a massive, massive jump, now I'm only 5k experience off of 49 farming, and I believe that is a requirement for a quest, or it is a requirement for me to, oh, it's, it's a requirement for me to plant watermelon seeds, and then with the water... <laughs> So I've returned to the quest scene, and the first quest I'm going to get out of the way is the um, the Throne of Miscellanea. So I'm going to have to quickly speak to King Vargas here, and then I should be able to complete the quest. There we go. One quest point, and the reason I did this is, you know, just for the obvious fact that you can use the... Um, the... Yeah, 
You can basically get the uh, the free resources by just getting your approval rating up and investing some money into, I think it's Advisor Grimm or King Vargas, one of the two. Um, but all you've got to do is basically get your approval rating to 100%, chuck some money in there as much as you can, and then you get some free stuff and make a little bit of money. So... And also wanted I also wanted to do that for the one quest point. Now I'm pretty sure if I do King's Ransom as well, that will increase my yield or um You suck. Yeah, increase my yield from the uh, the Kingdom of Miscellanea. Um so I'm gonna quickly do that quest as well and hopefully I'll be back when I've completed that quest. And here is the King's Ransom quest being complete. There we go, so, whoa, did not expect that much defense XP, I'm not going to lie, and a lot of magic experience, and another 5k reward lamp, I wasn't actually sure of the crest rewards, all I was, um, I was just doing it for uh, the Kingdom of Miscellanea and the one quest point, but 33k defense experience, I'll take it, uh, nearly 70 defense, and I just, oh, just got 67 mage, look at that, and here is the third quest of the day going to be complete, I'm going to speak to the stranger now just to finish off the, what is it called, In Search of the Mirac. Now the point of doing this quest is basically just to, um, well there's two quest points as well, so I only need, uh, only need about eight more quest points until I can do the uh, finish recipe for disaster and get those Barris Gloves. But the point of doing this quest, um, if you don't already know, you can actually use the shortcut which I'm showing you right here. Um, the ideal sort of setup to have is, you know, enough, a high enough construction to have your own um, altar as well as your Canifus teleport portal. And what you got to do after that is just, I guess, teleport to Canifus, come down here, use this underground path until you get to the very end, take the boat, and then you're basically at Barrows. And now this path is only good if you um, don't have... Uh, if, if you haven't waited half an hour to get back to Barrows by using the Shades of Morton minigame sort of teleport... So this is the Regicide quest um, coming to a lovely finish. The quest um, wasn't as difficult as I thought it was, uh, but then again, I probably wouldn't go and do that quest again in a little while because it's not one of my favorite quests to do. But it did get me an agility level, uh, agility level, uh, agility three level. quest points, um, and the quick route to Isafdar via Aranda, whatever that, and of course a 15k GP. Oh yeah. And that only leaves me with five more quest points to go until I can get those Barrow's Gloves. I'm getting excited now.